bound only by frozen What's going on guys? Welcome back to another installment of X-Plane 11. Good morning everybody or afternoon wherever you're from. What's going on? We got Jell in here. We got uh, see no floaties. We got Bill Clinton's rapist Jay Benjamin. We got Street Shark Ken. How you doing buddy? We got Elvis Fly. Andy Channel. We got uh, All Nighter 706. What's up guys? So today we are we're back in Rome uh, from where we left off yesterday. We're going to go to Nice uh, and then after Nice we're going to fly the 727. Uh, and we're gonna fly from Nice um, to um, oh, what's that place called? Oh shit, I forgot already. It's another airport in Germany. It's it's no big deal. I think it's like one of the biggest. I don't know. Frankfurt. That's what it is. Anyways, after that we're gonna go to Hamburg and then and then um, uh, Schiphol or Schiphol, however you want to pronounce it. But uh, yeah, we got uh, so we're gonna basically go come from the uh, the tip of the Mediterranean here all the way to basically the top of the channel. So. Uh, got uh, quite a I guess a show for you today I don't know well I guess we'll find out uh, if we uh, have a couple hard landings or so but you never know we may we may not it is uh, very early in the morning and I'm like half like sleeping right now but um, welcome guys to the stream uh, without further ado let's get inside the cockpit of the MD-80 here we go my button works holy crap let's go on Vess all right, so first things first, we uh, we probably should um, make sure track R is working because it's not. Holy crap! Kind of need that. Enable, disable the plug, and there we. Go. All right, so we need that track I R, and uh, let's go ahead, get the camera for you guys. To scare you guys. There we go, and then uh, yeah, there we go. What's going on, Steve Morris? What's up, man? We got uh, Video Pro One Two Three. What's up, dude? The Martin. How you doing, man? You live near Schiphol? Sweet, dude. Yeah, we'll be heading there. We'll be uh, flying out of Schiphol tomorrow for our long-haul flight. Um, let's go ahead and get our external power on. And uh, let's see, get, go ahead and align our navigation. And uh, let's go ahead and get our starter pumps on. We'll arm our emergency lights. And we'll get the seatbelt signs. And we probably should get the battery. That's probably good. Go ahead and get our lights here. And let's see, get our yaw damper to the on position. And I think that's about it. Other than the APU, get our fuel pumps. And yeah, for now that's it. Okay. So we'll just uh, go ahead to the front panel here, turn a couple dials, get some lights and, and, and some instruments turned on here. Because we need these. Alright, those are done. Maybe. Alright, so let's go to our uh, load sheet here, and uh, let's go to pounds, and uh, let's load some fuel before we start our APU. Uh, let's see, all fuel tanks will probably be the easiest here, so we'll take, uh, let's see, ooh, 20, let's take 24,000 pounds of fuel, just to be safe. And uh, we'll take a uh, full load, so I think it's 20 in the forward, and then 80 in the rear. And then uh, we'll take a couple thousand pounds of cargo here. center of gravity, it's 20-ish, there we go. Vimir, thanks so much for the subscription, I appreciate that, man. You gotta get your stream up first, uh, for the first time, nice, dude. 
for an hour trying. Oh man, it's yeah, it's it's a pain in the ass to get it set up, man. It really is. But uh, once you get it, uh, you save all your settings, right, and then you'll be off. All right, so we'll get that, got that all set up here. We should probably go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and open up our cargo doors and open up a four door so we can load the passengers. So at this time, we'll go ahead and load all that. Did you say that's going to take about 22 minutes? Yeah, fuck that. That's too long. Go ahead and expedite all that, get that all done, and then everything's done because we just cheated. Nobody's got time for that. So we'll go ahead and close those doors, and then uh, I think that's that. We got uh, We got fuel. We'll just double check here on the fuel gauge. We got 24,000 pounds. Sweet. All right, so at this time, we'll go ahead and start our APU. So we'll click the switch down to the start position for about three seconds or so. And then release it. And then that should fire that puppy up. So let's get down to the uh, FMC here. Um, let's see here. Enter IRS position. Okay, well, it's leads clear. Do the pause here. So uh, we are going to be at C L I R F. Something with one on. I got fixed. Uh, this is bugging the shit out of me. Next camera. There we go. That's better. See that. All right. So we are at L I R F. Oh, jeez. Okay. L I R F. There we go. For the third time. And uh, there's our reference. We'll copy that over to the set IRS position. And then we'll go ahead and go to route. So we're going to uh, knee sky. So this is going to be LFMN, I believe. I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, so our flight number is going to be AZA. We're flying Altalia. So uh, and our number is 3122. And we'll go ahead and activate that. Well, IRS isn't aligned yet, so that's fine. Oh man. <laughs> Explain these Hurricane Hunter played. Uh, yeah, man, I would love to have a P3. That'd be pretty sweet. You want to go to Frankfurt today? We will be going to Frankfurt today for sure, man. What's going on, Maxi? What's up? You had a weird fuel bug in the A330? Ooh, set insufficient fuel no matter what. Uh, um. That has something to do with your cruise altitude, man, So and your reserves. You have to set your reserves uh, correctly. So uh, if you have, like, uh, say, 30,000 pounds of remaining fuel, but you set your reserves at 35,000 pounds, then it's always going to say insufficient fuel. It's the same for the uh, for Boeing aircraft, too, so it's a, uh, that's a thing. She <laughs> read the title as gluten. Oh, boy. Or glutton. Hey. In Rome, right? Just saying. Let's go on, T Storm. What's up, man? Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, so we'll, uh, we're waiting on the, uh, the IRS here, align alignment here, and then uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and there we go. There, that time it worked. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go to our departures, and uh, we're gonna depart from two five. I think. Hold on. We might have to choose a new star or a Sid. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know why it gave me that one. Paddocks. I think that's just the transition. So hold on. Let me look at these stars real quick. Or Sids. My bad. Alright, so we got, uh, let's see, let's do the sources, I want to see what sources are. That's from the three, that's from the one sixes, we can't do that. That's also from the one sixes. Let's see, we got, we got, um, 
couple more here. I think actually all these are from 1.6s. I don't know why it's giving me those. Alright, so we'll do, uh, let's see here. I think the uh, Xeno Lima, Xeno 5 Lima. I think that makes sense here. And transition. Um, I really don't know. I guess we'll have to figure this one out as we go on here. So, man, flying in Europe, man, it's one of the hardest things trying to figure out which stood and little stars and shit. It's a pain in the ass. Probably just got something wrong? Maybe. Where am I going to fly after LFM in? Uh, we're going to Frankfurt, but we're going to do the uh, 727. I got the uh, flight plan already done for that. Uh, we're going to part for, with the base of 6 Echo. Uh, we're going to track an NDB. And then and do all that fun stuff. Yay! I've actually don't think I've ever tracked a, an NDB, so this could be fun. First time for everything. Uh, right. So after route here, we'll just do. Hope this is gonna work. Let's see if this. Kind of scared. All right. So after that, I guess we'll go to paddocks, as as our flight plan states here. So we'll do P A D O X. I swear I don't know where I'm at. Oh, not in database. Hold on. That's Podoc, sorry. P O G O X. Uh, and then after that, we'll jump on uh, Tango 378 for an airway. And then we'll take that to uh, see Dobin. That's right, yeah. Okay, so we'll take that to Dobem and then we'll jump on another airways at the R6, R16? Yeah, R16. Man, I'm blind today. It's gonna be a bad day. So the R16, and then uh, we'll take that to uh, MPAX. And that's gonna be the transition for uh, our star. That's the wrong one. I'm looking at the wrong flight plan. Alright, so uh, we're actually going to take that to Carrot. My bad. Oopsie. I made a mistake. There we go. That makes sense now. And then, uh, let's see, we'll do our arrival. Execute this. Do our arrival. And I think they're landing the fours. So we'll land, uh, let's see, land four right. And select our star here. All these are all messed up. All right, well, I guess the weather changed since last night since I did this. <laughs> oh, well. Well, uh, We'll figure it out. What do we have for options here? I guess we'll take the, was it the Merle, Merle 6? Yeah, we'll take the Merle 6. It's like the reciprocal, the opposite. Alright. Execute that. I hope this works. Oh boy. And we'll go to our legs page here. And we'll clean out some uh, disc on. Some vectors, we don't need any of those. Execute that. And let's go to our initial reference here. So we'll just go set our fuel. 
to our gross weight and reserves will do 5,000. Cost index is going to be 55. And our cruise altitude is going to be 270. And we'll go to the execute page on that. And let's see, what's the transition? I think it's 6,000 here. I could be wrong. Uh, see, outside air temperature, that's giving us 26 degrees. And see, our center gravity is 22%. We'll execute that and leave that done. There's our pre-flight and all that stuff's done. Let's go ahead. Uh, IRS is aligned, so let's go to the plan and hide the yoke here. I want to step through these. This is going to be a pain in the ass, actually, because that's on that side and this is on this side. Let's see if I can do this here. Zoom in. There we go. All right. So we'll go to the legs page. Just want to check because we just did some crazy stuff. So this all looks like it's working. How you like that? This looks like a shit show right here. Okay. It's a real shit show. Okay, let's uh recycle this to see what's going on here. Hmm, weird. Um, hopefully the weather's good. We'll just do a visual. Question mark? Okay. And let's zoom out. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and get our weather here. What's going on, Goosebumps? What's going on, Joey? Uh, we got Bella Bella in here. Grapbox11, what's up, man? We've got uh, Jesma118, how you doing? Alright, so uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, Kavik, uh, 1015. Wow, this is the same, almost the same shit as yesterday. Must be a nice, nice weather system over here. Okay, so we'll do 1015 here, and let's get the. Uh, I think it does all three on this one. Yeah, it does all three. Sweet. Okay, so you just have to do one. Uh, okay, so there's our flight plan. It's all done. Let's go ahead and fire up our APU. Actually, it's already fired up. Let's go ahead and, I guess, trip our APU. Uh, at this point in time, we'll um, see here. Go and disconnect our um, GPU. And let's go ahead. I think we're ready. Really, the only thing we need to do is push back. Go ahead and get our starters on both. We uh, uncaged the, uh, the covers there for the start switches. And I think that's about it. Will I stream helicopters on DCS? Uh, probably soon, yeah, maybe. Um, not today, probably not. We'll see. We'll see if I get done early, maybe. All right. Kind of worried about this arrival here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, request our pushback. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some music in here. It's kind of, kind of dead. Uh, let's go ahead and do our better pushback here, and uh, we'll go ahead and start pushback. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. There we go. Go and hide our yoke there. All right, so we're going to take off with, let's see here, flaps 15, I believe, right? Flaps 15, and we'll do center gravity was 22. So there's our trim, long trim of four. Let's go ahead and get our pneumatic uh, valves on here. Breaks the RTO. Hop into the uh, go pod super quick, switch our hydraulic pumps on.
Go ahead and set our trim. All right, looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. All right, there's our trim. And we want to climb out about 2,500 vertical speed here and then we'll go ahead and hit the Togo flex. We'll take off flex, give us the EPR limit 2.03. Flight director turned on, and we'll go ahead and hit the nav to follow the track out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pens inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Alright, parking brake released. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. And let's uh, go ahead and start engine number one. Oh, jeez, what's going on? Let's go. Gotta turn on here. Go ahead and start engine number one. Or number two, sorry. So we're waiting for 18% uh, 